Hi Poms and welcome back to my channel. Today I have, well, two nails. One, I am finally revealing my everyday makeup look. And two, I might leave YouTube. Uh, this is not a guaranteed decision, but it might be happening. I feel that YouTube was just taking too much time away from me in the sense that I really want to focus on growing as a person and on my goals. And I, I'm kind of starting to forget why I love YouTube. I started seeing it kind of as a burden, which I shouldn't, but all of us YouTube creators know how long it takes to edit a video. Therefore, I was lacking time with my family. I was lacking concentration at my work. And it's not that I'm leaving it forever. I just want to focus on one thing at a time. And once I'm successful at that one thing, then move on to another one. I do think that people can do a lot of things at the same time, but they first have to learn how to handle and be successful at one. So that then another one can come on and bring it all, you know? So I am going to be taking sort of a pause on YouTube and well, hope you guys like this tutorial. Anyway, we're gonna have a great chat as always. And thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. So go get your makeup and let's get ready together. So I'm gonna be starting with my Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation in shade R250. You guys know the drill. And well, when I decided to start filming this video, I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything. I'm just, I'm not saying 100% that I am gonna leave YouTube, but it is a possibility. So I take my compressed powder brush and I start dabbing. So the reason is because, I don't know, I, I feel that my life is a bit hectic at the moment and I am trying to do so many things at once that none of them are truly being successful. So I want to dedicate some time for myself because that could be another thing that I can do. Not necessarily leave YouTube, but kind of take a break since I want to focus more on what's actually leaving me, you know, profit. Because I have seen YouTube as business, but so far it's clearly not business and I know it's a long way. But then again, I am at a point in my life in which I'm making so much like tough decisions that it's kind of hard for me to decide whether I should want to focus 100% on something and be successful at it and then go back to like, you know, what I truly love or whatever, or just plainly, because it's kind of like about wanting to be successful, you know, whether you get the job that you love or you get a kind of not so loving job so that you can also do things that you want. So I would rather focus on one thing and trying to reach that one thing than whereas trying 20 different things at the same time and not really getting anywhere. You know what the saddest part is though? I finally got a clean new concealer by J&K in shade 01. So my friends, you're going to be looking at it today. So we're gonna create this kind of like lifted eye Thingy -lingy. And I'm gonna put some on my eyelids to look better. I'm gonna be taking the compressed powder brush and start just dabbing. So this is a kind of everyday makeup look that I have worn for a while. I'm not saying that I wear it every day because right now since it is quarantine, well, not quarantine, but pandemic. And on my previous job, I used to wear makeup every single day. I'm trying to wear makeup the least possible. I legit almost only wear makeup for when I film my videos. And I mean almost because sometimes I take pictures or photos on other days, so I have to do that and wear makeup again. And then I go to my powder foundation by Pali Maquillaje in shade 01. And I am going to tap that all over my face and skin. So another reason why I might leave YouTube is because I feel that my job is taking over me. So everything I do on weekdays is, you know, like go to my job, come back home, edit videos, and then it's a weekend and I'm too tired to do anything. And I haven't been spending as much time with my family. So that's something that I really want to prioritize right now because I feel blessed to have my family, especially during these hard times. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Chanel Rouge Profonde blush in shade 320. So I take my blush brush, a little bit because this one's intense and I tapped off the excess and then I mm, mm, 
put it on. You guys, I'm still gonna be on Instagram anyway, so I invite you to follow me there. And moving on to the highlighter, I'm gonna be taking my favorite burst by my Tarte Haste Pro Glow To Go palette. I take my small highlighter brush and I'm gonna tap off the excess and put that on all of the parts where the sun hits more intensely. Okay, and now the star of the show, my palette, The Golden Goddess by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna be taking my eyeshadow brush and this nude color, which if you see over here, it tells you for what is each color. This one is the prime. So we are going to apply that all over our eyelids by dabbing so that it looks a bit more pigmented. And I legit want it on all of my eyelids. You know how moms do their makeup and put it on all of their eyelids. <laughs> That's how I want mine. Well, at least my mom anyway. Then I'm gonna be taking the enhanced color with the same powder brush and I'm gonna put it in the top of the eyelid. Sorry, it's on, not in. We don't wanna put anything in our eyes. So I start dabbing so that it looks very pigmented because Charlotte Tilbury makeup is more for like, when you wanna feel like a Victoria's Secret model, you know? Subtle sexy but it's not that pigmented so even though it looks kind of chunky right now i'm still gonna use a blending brush so don't you worry child this is going to disappear soon okay so now would be a good time to use my blending brush so i'm gonna blend all of that over so that it looks like it's just one tone instead of two and using a blending brush is a lifesaver because it also makes everything look much more clean i mean that's how an everyday makeup look should look Clean. So up next, I'm gonna be taking my eye tapper crease brush and using this smoke shade. I'm gonna take a little bit and I tap out the excess. I'm gonna create kind of like a small thin line in the center of the separation of my eyelid, kind of like a cut crease. And we take our blending eyeshadow brush and we blend. You see, that's a real reason why I might be quitting YouTube. Cause I'm becoming a singer. <laughs> Yeah, right. And just for the sake of it, I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna put it on my lash line. And a little bit on like the edge. And once again, we blend. My hand's like, I can't even blend properly. Help. So whenever I decide to put on eyeliner, I never remember if I put it before or after the mascara. So today I'm gonna put it after. So I'm gonna be taking my Sumptuous Extreme Volume Mascara by Estee Lauder and I'm going to put this in little twirlies. One eye is done, and then the other. Ta-da! <clears throat> Sorry, I've been singing too much. It's my voice got a little hoarse. You guys know how much I love to wear eyeliner. I just don't know how it's gonna look. So I'm just gonna be taking this little MAC, almost open, eyeliner in shade black. Or at least I think it's shade black. You know how MAC just loves to name their stuff. So I'm gonna start through the center all the way to the, just a little, we just take out a little, little tip. Ooh, fancy, this actually does look nice. Let's just hope the other eye looks the same. I told you, the name is Boot. <laughs> Who'd have thought Mac would have named something as simple as black? You guys, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because this other eye just scares me a bit more. Yeah. You guys, I am actually impressed by how good I'm getting at my eyeliners. Just don't come too close or else you'll actually see how it looks in real life. Stay there. And then to be almost done with this everyday makeup look, I'm gonna be taking my Pink Up Lip Liner in shade Sand. I finally tossed away the L'Oreal one. That was just so tiny. And once again, I might be leaving YouTube not because I don't like it, but because it was more of a burden now. I was stopping to enjoy it and I just have to remember why I love it. It was just taking too much time away from me, so I just, yeah. I mean, I'm so grateful for the community that we're building. It's small, but it's steady. And I just love talking to all of you. I love reading your comments, but it's hard to keep up when there's other things going on, you know? So then I'm gonna be wearing my, my revolution <laughs> lip gloss, which is kind of like a lip gloss lipstick. So it looks very glossy, but very pigmented. So it feels kind of like a lipstick. And it's from the Earth Tones collection. I think this is the Aries color. 
I'm not sure. So that's why I can't really write the description below. To complete this look, I am just going to be putting this on. I feel this lip combo looks just so lush. It looks very 90 supermodel vibe, you know, lip liner with, you know, gloss and lipstick. And this is it, you guys. Voila! This is my everyday makeup look. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And, well, hopefully see you soon again. Thank you guys for being a part of the Porcelain Plum community. And even though I will not be uploading videos that often, I will be doing it sporadically because I just, I love this too much and I don't want to let it go 100%. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you again very soon.